Well, they didn't. They didn't do much on offense early in that game, but they'll do much better in this one. I like them. I'll take. Didn't the have, really have that game against the Jets in hand uh, throughout. Okay, let's move on to another CBS game, one o'clock uh, Eastern time. I'm a little bit surprised that the Patriots are road favorites at the Steelers after what we saw from both these teams in Week One. I think it has a little bit to do with the fact that TJ Watt's not going to play on this one. I mean, good news for the Steelers. Obviously, he's not going to miss a good chunk of the season, the entire season. They think he's going to be back in six weeks. I'm a little concerned about Najee Harris and the foot injury. I know they feel like he's probably going to be able to go. Uh, but it seems like it's going to be a nagging thing throughout the course of the year. But, look, I mean, the wide receivers are making plays for Trubisky. Uh, we'll see how the defense adjusts to this one. I'm taking the home uh, underdog here. I don't feel great about it because I'm curious to see how the Patriots respond from what was a very lackluster offensive performance last week. If T.J. Watt was in the game, I'd probably pick the Steelers, but I'm going to go the other way. I, I think what they showed last week, the Patriots are awful. Bill Belichick is too good a coach for that to go back out on the field. Now, Mac Jones has a back injury. We don't know how bad or how good that is. I think the Steelers are a different defense without T.J. Watt. I mean, in a big way. I think it'll show up in a big way. I think the New England offense will show up here. This is bucking some of my trends from some of these other games. It's a team that's out on the road for a second straight week against a team playing its home opener. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to take, I'm going to believe in Bill Belichick. I'm going to take the New England Patriots. Probably regret it. By the way, was a full participant at practice on Tuesday. So that's a good sign. First head-to-head -head meeting with no Brady or Roethlisberger since the 90s. Wow. All right. Let's go to the Jets and the Browns. And the Browns get, get a victory week one. They've they got to take advantage of this early schedule. We talked. We, you guys went through and W and L'd this entire schedule for the Browns. you got to win these games if you're going to have a shot at the playoffs when Watson comes back. Yeah, but this, this line's a little too big for me. And I think in, in part, look, they're coming back home. It's their home opener in Cleveland. I'm sure they're going to be excited about it. But six points uh, with a backup quarterback. And I, I know we want to play down the Jets, but Joe Flacco's had a lot of success versus the Browns throughout the course of his career. And I think if you look at this team, they're talented. You know, Sauce Gardner is phenomenal. What are you upset with what you end up picking? On your paper, you have the Browns. I know. I'm still oh. saying it, it's a big number for oh. me. That was some of my oh. concern. Oh, okay. And I acknowledge that. Okay. Is that you okay? were saying it's a big number. It I'm is a big number. I, well, you, okay, I'll give you a chance to speak. But my, my, my whole point is, <laughs> when you're looking at the Jets last week, yeah, Baltimore took care of them. But I, I do think you see kind of that light at the end of the tunnel. Sauce Gardner looked great. Uh, I think you see Garrett Wilson, the impact that he's going to have. Uh, and again, Flacco, it's a familiar place. What, he's 17 and 3 yeah. during his career versus the Browns? I mean, it's, it's not like it's unfamiliar to him. So I'm a little concerned this one will be closer than people think, but I'll lay the six points with Cleveland here. Yeah, I'm going to lay the six points too. And I, I'm with you. I, I was a little hesitant to lay it. I don't love this pick at all. I mean, I think like four, three and a half, somewhere in there maybe. But sense. I think the difference will be their pass rush will get after Flacco. And that'll be the biggest difference. I, the Jets are banged up on that offensive line. There's some issues there. And I think that's going to show up. We'll get some short fields, some turnovers. But you're right. The Jets are going to move in the right direction. They're going in the right direction. I just don't think it happens this week. I'll lay the six. Well, plus, you got Brown and the Elf. They're oh, on the yeah. field. That looks great. Yeah. I played there for three years. I, I don't remember us talking about Brown and the Elf very much. Uh, nor does anybody care about it. I care. Why? The internet cares. Yeah. We like stuff like that. You, I like, might, you I, like elves? I might peek in on this one on, on Sunday. Just to watch to <laughs> see yeah, the elf. Just to see the elf <laughs> at midfield. Uh, Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.